I think it's going to be 16-8 or 16-9 for Elevate. Okay, okay. But we are live into the night round, boys and girls. The moment you've all been waiting for, the big match of the evening. We've been through Pro League all night. We got to see Ace Gaming a couple times. We got to see Mouse Spaz and Luminosity. But now it's going to be Elevate taking on CLG. Two very, very solid North American teams. Who's going to win the knife round? Who's going to get the pick of CT side? And right now it's going to be CLG taking it. And my player to watch for the match, even though I think Elevate is going to take this one, my player to watch is Cutler. Yeah, here, here's here's my issue with Cutler uh, on this map, especially because I've actually I've, I've watched CLG in a number of demos on this map, and if someone gets picked over towards A, there's a big tendency of FNS to get very aggressive on Catwalk, and that usually doesn't work out too well, at least against Europeans. We'll see how Elevate can punish it, but what it kind of does for a player like Cutler, who, who's you know very fundamental player, he plays in her balcony a lot, plays in this A bomb site, very strong player, but. Once his teammates start getting picked, it puts him in a situation where he just can't really shine because he's always in one on twos, one on threes. You know, when they start rotating off that A bomb site, he's he's at such a disadvantage. So we'll have to see how they can manage that. But Hayes opens things up nicely on Desi. peaked in connector. And again, we're seeing seeing a little bit of mid presence here being executed from the terrorist side. They're going to push on down towards the connector, and that's going to be the bomb actually working its way up. And now Roka, he's going to be looking for some shots. Going to spot FNS out, and he doesn't check his angles, and Tarek around the corner. Oh, what? Roka 180s. Tarek takes him down, but JDM with back-to-back -back frags. They've dropped the bomb, and that's basically all she wrote right now. Storm and Roka trying to get it done here, but Roka, what a crazy shot from him. He's still harassing over the B bomb site. He's going to be able to take down FNS. I should have said Roka's my player to watch. What a shot from him. I want to know what Tarek was doing. Well, how didn't Tarek get that kill? He had a good two I think two he was just waiting. I think he was waiting to see if anybody else came through. Cutler and I said shot on the storm, and that's going to leave Roka in a one versus three. So he's got to go for the ace here. Not even getting nope. close. Hayes shuts nope. him down. So nice opening from CLG right off the. I mean, Dusty gets picked off immediately, and it's just all CLG from there. So nicely done by them. A couple nice shots hit very early up mid. CLG starting that pistol round off strong. Yeah, but that was a crazy shot from Roka, and, you know, I expect... Well, he goes for the P250. I expected him to pick up a Desert Eagle because we've seen him do some... have some magical rounds with the Desert Eagle. I like how we're seeing tonight a lot of these teams, uh, especially in the first half, aren't, aren't fully committing to this second round buy with armor. Maybe going for a plan here to see if they can get a third round AK buy. It's going to be tough over here at the B bomb set. FNS is playing Catwalk. Tarek's going to drop a molly as soon as any smokes come over, but there's actually no smokes or flashbangs. They could catch him with a nade in his hands. This is going to be scary for Tarek. Goes for the re-smoke. That's going to give him a little bit more room. Nope, he does manage to get the Molotov off, but they're just going to push right on through. Coming out the window, he is going to be able to find one. Burns one alive. He's going to pick up the triple. And that MP9 is going to work right now. FNS is going to be able to find one, and Tarek finishes him off with the 4K. And that is going to be a lightning-fast round in favor of CLG. Yeah, that actually went much better for Tarek. He played that much better than I thought was going to happen. I thought he was just going to get bull rush, but he gets the Molotov off and he just sprays a couple down. So nicely done by him. Builds up that money with the SMG bonus. And he actually upgrades. He drops his uh, drops his MP9 over to FNS, upgrades to the Colt. Or the M4A1, excuse me. Same difference. I got yelled at the other night for calling it a Colt. Who yelled at you? I don't know, some mean people. I'll punch him in the face. <laughs> Flashbang coming out, mid control being exercised here from Elevate. Good job from them thus far getting out there, but Tarek up on Catwalk is going to be able to spot one out. The crowd sprays, finds two. And Desi with the Deagle Doe finds JDM's face, decapitates him completely and wholeheartedly. And it is still going to be a save round here, and Roka trying to work his way up towards Connector. He's going to get caught out. Hayes finds one, and Tarek chimes in with the third. And already Tarek off and rolling seven and one. All right, so this is going to be the first gun round here. CLG, they, they managed both those very, very well, dropping one at each one. So they built up a lot of bank. They don't get punished very much. We're going to see the op in JDM's hands. FNS still has the FAMAS, but M4A1's all across the board otherwise. I would imagine JDM's going to be playing in that window with this AWP. He's very mobile, and we've seen him. He's Some of these matches that he's been ringing in for him at the beginning of the season, he's been very, very strong, but... Elevate at the moment, they're going to spread out, they're going to try and get a little bit of map control, they're going to have to worry about JDM, who's in the connector actually, he's peering it from below, he gets smoked out though, doesn't even take the shot, but he does fall back. And rightfully so, saving himself for later on in the round, they still don't know that he has an AWP, so good awareness from him thus far. Getting a little bit of a palace lurk now, he's going to be rush over in that direction, the bomb is dropped to the backside of T-Spawn, and it looks like they are going to push their way up, and JDM's going to miss the off shot, drops an 8 around the corner. He's going to do some pretty serious damage on XP3 and Roka. And he is going to get the snapshot onto Desi. He's in the meantime, takes down XP3. 
There you go. The trades are all across the board, and Rush is going to be your last man standing in this one versus three. Oh, Rush burns one, though. JDM down and out. He might be able to get a free bomb plant here, but coming around from CT spawn is going to be Tarek. He's just going to bull rush up the ramp. Takes him down. Yeah, nice timing from Tarek, and that was... Elevate gains great mid control there very, very quickly, but they don't slow it down. They keep going fast up connector, and actually Desi and, and JDM, that was just great timing for JDM. Desi was like just a second off of, of actually eliminating him from the map. Early on, that AWP would have been gone, but manages it nicely. They hold against that split, so nice defense there from CLG. They're going to be up 4-0. Yeah, and we'll see if CLG can continue to dominate this matchup early on, but we are going to go see another buy here. Storm a little bit late to the punch, but he is going to probably pick up an AK here in just a second. Maybe. There it is. Okay. All right, so the AWP back in the hands of JDM. He's going for that connector pick. No, he's in window room right now, but he's not going to have anybody contending with him just yet. Flashes up over the A ramp. Wasted nade from JDM. And now we're going to turtle up here on the terrorist side and try to work some picks. They are going to send one down under underpass. And again, two pl two players peeking this hallway. The same setup that they had in the pistol round. FNS going for the jump peek and Tarek biding his time in the corner. And again, another whiff coming out from JDM. That narrow whiff, though. He almost had him. That was a nice timing. Some nades go in. Takes him out of 84. Actually, he tags XP3 down to 4 HP. Heavy tag. Yeah, that's rough. So uh, XP3 is going to be out of the fight. Bomb is still dropped back towards the B halls, but mid control has been. He's got a one way elevate. smoke here in window. Yeah, but he, he can't he can't mess around with that too too much more. It's just a matter of time before he gets punished for it, although he does grab that kill. He gets away, so nicely done by JDM here. And a good pop flash by Tarek eliminates Roka from the attack. Yeah, CLG Roka known for so his strong. B Hall's play too. Yeah, and this is yeah, this is just elevate. They're, they're getting mid control, but they're just not gaining anything from it at the moment. Desi does get one in connector before he gets traded off. And this is why uh, this is why CLG feels so comfortable on this map, even against Europeans, is because they're actually very, very good on it against North Americans. It's it's just you can't compete with Europeans on it, but they always feel good about it because look at this, look at this defense they're mounting. Elevate hasn't even had any little bit of success whatsoever. They're getting absolutely crushed. Yeah, they really haven't made it much very far into a bomb say barring that plant in the last round. They really haven't gotten anything going. And Tarek's sitting at ten and one right now. He's doubled up. Two FPR for him so far. That's frags per round for those viewers at home. Yeah, Elevate, uh, they're actually going to force by here, it looks like. Desi has an AK-47 in armor. He's completely bought out. That might be a little bit of a rage buy because no one else is buying anything out of it. So well, I think he's snapped smokes. They did pick up a couple of smokes here, so... We'll see where they decide to go. It looks like it is going to be an A hit. And they've got to contend with Hayes, JDM, and also Cutler over in this position. Cutler playing up on top of the uh, toll booth. Smokes on over. They do re-smoke the A ramp, but now they're going to go ahead and go for this push on in. Now that they're waiting behind that smoke, they're holding off just a little bit because they know all the spray. They're going to have to let Desi's going to have to do something with this, with this AK-47, but he's going to let Rush come out first. He is spotted. None of them have come out the smoke quite yet. They wait for the off shot. They baited it out. Now they've got the angle. Desi takes him down. Rush chimes in with one as well. It's a three on three. Picking up a little bit of utility. There's Rush. He gets a dink through a wall. Doesn't do that much damage, though. And Cutler playing this perfectly, just delaying, falling back, staying alive, and FNS is able to back him up perfectly from Connector. And once again, I love it. It looked a little bit promising early, but they just get shut down eventually by these rotates from CLG. Does he not not able to tap away FNS? And there you go. So Counter Logic completely blanking Elevate right now, and. Now they're going to go for another buy. I guess Desi had enough money to buy two rounds in a row, so they just went for the risk. See if they could pick off the reward in XP3. And Storm off to a slow start, both with Goose Eggs 006. XP3 going to go for the AWP. Let's see where he decides to go with that. He doesn't really have a mid spawn, so JDM is going to beat him to the window room. Is he going to go for the peak anyway? No, he is not. I don't know where he's going, actually. He's going to look for that connector peak. That's it. That is where JDM has been playing a couple of times, but they boost him up. And look at this play. He's going to be peeking out completely onto catwalk. I kind of like this play from JDM and CLG all across the board. Yeah, and Desi's got to be careful. Desi's actually right beneath him. He's looking up for it. I think he spots the head. I think he's waiting. Oh, he comes up. But Oh, there it is. Desi grabs the JDM jumping in the midair. So he trades out the kill onto XB3. Puts it at this 4-on-4, four and, four, and that's opened up a little bit of room to work with in mid. He could have got a catwalk window and, ch and uh, connector are both still smoked off, but they're just going to fall off it for right now. They do still have some utility to work with, but they haven't really gone from here. Desi's just going to hold down mid. 
try and punish anyone from CLG trying to get any kind of information. His teammates, it looks like they're going to wrap back around to A for an execute, but there are two members from CLG here. That's Hayes and Cutler playing very, very well. They're one's under balcony, one's at the fire boxes, so a good crossfire setup from those two. Yeah, very interesting setup here from the CT side, but they are going to have a nice crossfire if they do decide to come up towards that A ramp, and that's exactly where the Elevate side is going. Tarek on a very long rotation. FNS just holding for the window room, so they basically, well, no, FNS is going to bail out from that A bomb site and work his way over towards B. Pop Flash comes out, and Tarek might go for a jump peek. Yes, he is, but he's not going to find anything over there, and the push is coming towards A. Hayes and Cutler have to lock it down now. And Roka just running around the corner is going to belt him in the face, and Roka finally goes down. FNS, it's two versus two. And see what they yeah, can do here. This spot time for Tarek to get over from the B bomb. So he's actually gonna Molotov off. It looks like he wants to Molly the default plant spot. But he gets sprayed down by Desi. A nice find. FNS is the only one left, and he gets taken out as well. So nicely done from Elevate. They get that, their first round of the half. That Molly did so much damage to him as well. They were trying to plant in the middle of that spot because they didn't have CT control. So good job there from the remaining two uh, terrorist side players. Getting the first round on the board for Elevate, but a costly one at that. They had to get three rebuys, and again, XP3. Sitting at a goose egg as well as Storm, so it's really on Roka, Desi, and Rush right now. As Desi is going to be your top fragger in the server for this uh, terrorist side, and 10 and 2 for Tarek still. Here's that mid aggression though. Hayes pushing up. He's got two teammates backing up. JDM with, with an op in the window, and FNS who's going to pop flash for him. So what can Hayes find here? He's got a couple players blind. Desi can't recover in time. He gets taken out. Rush trades the kill away. Down to a 4 on 4, and Elevate's still trying to bully into this move control. I'm surprised he didn't fall back after getting that kill. He reset his recoil and tried to go for another spray down, but unfortunately he ends up paying for it. I don't, I don't mind that play, actually, to keep up the aggression there. That's not a bad play up there in mid. It just didn't go his way, so... It is equalized now, and they still do have this AWP. And This looks like Elevate wants to turn this into a B split up catwalk. They have two. They have the bomb and uh, one other player in the B tunnels. They're going to be going up. It's Tarek. He's playing at the van at, the, at a head of shot angle with this uh, M481. they got to be careful because JDM still holding the window room. He might be able to pick off Rush, and he will find Rush. And now we're down to a three on four, and he's already going to make the rotation over to B to join his comrade over in that area. So another player over there. He spots the gun barrel of XP3 as well. Finds that kill, and Tarek finds another one. JDM, what a round. Yeah, just very mobile with this AWP and Elevate can't get a good read on where he is. They don't they had they had some smokes too. That was what that's what's curious to me. They had some utility, they had some smokes, they had some flashbangs and some Molotovs, and they didn't really use any of them uh, to set up that B attack. So they get shut down easily by JDM, who never really had to feel pressure that whole round. Very, very smart play from him. Yeah, he basically got three blind kills on players that didn't have any idea that he was where he was. So good job from JDM. He's sitting on ten and four right now. So, didn't go to Whiff Town last round, so again, we're going to see an eco round coming up from the Elevate side. And already, Tarek with a nice headshot onto Desi takes him down, and, you know, Desi, it's like you said, he's he's very much the same player as Polly, or where he, he just likes to push on through and try to pick certain angles. Hey, he's going to battle here. Not going to be able to find that damage onto Rush just yet, but now peeking out through the window room, Rush is going to come around the corner. FNS falling headshot onto him. So it's all down to Storm and Roka. Yeah, and it's a shame that this, this these eco rounds out of Elevate, they don't really seem to have a plan of what they want to do, and it's it's kind of a bummer because you look at this economy in CLG, it's not that strong. If they were able to get, you know, even just two kills in this round with these pistols, that'd be huge for forcing them to save, for breaking the economy with their first gun round win, and then you can all of a sudden find yourself getting back into the match. And finally, that pop flash from Tarek is going to pay off. He's got Roka dead to rights around the corner. He's going to spray him down, takes him out. And that's a big 3K for Tarek. He's going to extend his fray count once again. 8-1 to one now for Counterlogic Gaming. And what does Elevate need to do to get back into this? They're trying to go mid-control. They can't get it because of the random aggression coming from CLG, which they've done well over their history playing this map. What do they need to do? Just a bomb rush towards B? Tarek is playing really, really well over no, there. I, I, trying I like to get for smoke A? Game. I'd like to see him get get up catwalk, do do that B split that they wanted, but use their smokes to get up, you know, neutralize JDM. Because actually, one thing that CLG is doing right now that I haven't seen him really do in the past, something they've changed up. They're keeping Haste and Cutler, both of them, at the A bomb site pretty much the whole round. They're not really rotating them out of there. You know, it's it's basically JDM and FNS who are rotating their positions. They're the support players each bomb site. Look at this cat stack, though. This yeah, is going to suck for Elevate. And finally, Tarek runs out of bullets. FNS and Tarek going to combine to take down two on Catwalk, but XP3 finally on the board. He gets a kill. Not a bad kill either. No, but Rush has been spotted out in halls, and Cutler actually won. If Storm comes up the ramp right now, nice kill from Rush. 
But JDM's inside the bomb site. He's at the double stack, at the triple boxes. He needs to. He has that AWP and he's just trying to find the kill and he does. He finds it on XP3, just creeping out a connector. And Rush is just stuck in halls right now. He can't do anything. Hayes is zoned in on that position. It's going to be all up to Storm to make something happen. He does make it happen. He is able to find one, but JDM going to find the frag over the top of the smoke and rush down and out. And Storm going to go down to the hands of FNS. So, again, another great hold from CLG. How many bomb plants has Elevate even gotten in this match? Two? Uh, looks like one. Was it just one? Yeah, yeah it, it was just one. one. Unless it was the round they won. But, yeah, it has Yeah, they did. So they did get a play in that round. But it was down to a one versus two, and Tarek did the molly. Yep. It's a triple, yeah. I mean, this is just, uh, this is rough. CLG's playing this very, very well at the moment. Shutting them down. So again, we're going to see a little bit of mid-aggression being ex exercised, and Hayes is going to come around the corner and go to battle with Rush, and he's going to win that trade. Now Roka going to go ahead and push up. JDM from window room is going to be taking a peek. He's going to get paid right back for that one. And now Cutler playing up on top of Ticket Booth. Going to be looking for these frags to come around through Connector, but they're falling back off a of Catwalk. Roka has an AWP else. here to use. He could help them find... He could find a pick here for him. It opens something up for him, but this defense from CLG has just been... has been on lockdown this entire half, really. Even Hayes and FNS have a little bit of a crossfire going on with their positioning. They just break off of it, as I say that, unfortunately, but... Really, with no utility, it's all going to be what can Roka find. FNS hears him jumping up Catwalk as well. Roka's just trying to find and peer into Window Room, but... FNS has got great positioning. There's a jump into the window room. FNS peeks out. He does spray down two of them, and it's just Desi. He has gotten his way into window room, but not much he's going to find. He does have FNS, but he misses the shot, gives up his position, and FNS punishes him for it. So 10-1 to 1 for CLG. This is looking very anticlimactic, and Tarek's at 16-3 and 3 right now. Yeah, my prediction's already out the window, so that's good. Yeah, your prediction is far out the window. Yeah, man. All right, well, nevertheless, we are going to see CLG with a big nine-round lead on their CT side, and they are looking good. And here's that double op setup that I was talking about, Tarek and JDM. Yeah, and now, now, things, now things really get heated up. And Tarek's actually going to push. He jumps up onto the box. He's got a great early push into these halls, and XP3 is going to be there. Is he going to walk right into him? Good Counter flash bang. Pushes, yeah, pushes him back, forces him away. And Tarek going to go all the way back to CT spawn and see if he can find something from over by the ticket booth. That's going to that's gonna move Cutler up a little bit more aggressive as well. And Hayes playing from Sandwich. So we'll see what they can do here in this round. It is going to be an A hit. They've got four CTs already in the A bomb site. This is just going to be a blender strat. Cutler's going to find the first one. Tarek's going to miss the off shot, but Hayes is right there. And Tarek is going to be able to find another one. FNS and Tarek finish him off. And just a mow down at that A bomb site. Nothing is going elevates way right now. Yeah, this is, a, this is a poor showing from Elevate, and it's it's a bummer because at the end of last season, the, the Elevate was hands down, you know, the best, the team in the best shape going into ESCA and SEVA land. They, they unfortunately didn't qualify for ESCA land, but, I mean, this isn't the Elevate team we've come to know. CLG's just giving them a lesson here, saying they're not quite done yet, they haven't slipped this far, and now it's just going to be a fast execute up through the smoke. Hayes takes out one, Cutler combines for a second one, Roka finally does respond, but the damage is done. Cutler's even going to fall back and survive and wait for the retake with his teammates. Smartly played by him. And that big rotation coming out, and again, this is going to be JDM playing from connector. Oh, Tarek and JDM, the double-op set up, paying off again. And Storm is going to be the last man standing. FNS going to clean that one up, 12-1 to 1 now, and this is not looking good for Elevate. Uh, you know, I know Elevate doesn't want to... Play this map against Euro, so that, that I mean, you have to put some more effort into it than this. This is just uh, pitiful. You need to be at least competent on this map, and, and this is just very, very bad showing out of Elevate. And they struggled on this map in the past as well. I remember last season they had a couple of close matches on this one to teams that shouldn't have been close matches. I believe one of the one prime example was against Area 51, who hadn't had a win all season. Yeah, they was, were like 0 and 9, and it went into like double OT because Summit was, was playing a, ridiculous. Summit had like 50 kills or something in that match. Yeah, that yeah. was pretty nuts. But then Elise caught him at the end too. Yep. Tarek gonna find Desi, starting off with that AWP again. That double op setup paying off really, really well for him. He's aggressive on Cat. He's gonna be able to fall back, rush around the corner. He's gonna miss the shot. Drops the Molly. Going for the 5-7, close range. Rush is going to make him pay. This is the best opening that they've had so far. Storm into the FNS. They have the B bomb site. What can they do now? XP3 with the AWP. Going to be looking for some frags. They smoke off the kitchen. 
Yep, so a great opportunity here for Elevate. If they if they can't win this round, that would just be absolutely heartbreaking, but they've got great positioning. It's gonna be all up to this retake, and with the op in JDM stands, he's trying to find any kind of peak, trying to get a pick that he can do. Hayes does it for him, finds one on Catwalk. Now he's got XP3 to deal with. He's trying to bait out a shot, and he finally does, but it lands. And Storm is gonna clean things up as well, so Cutler has nothing really to do. There's no time left on the defuse. He's just here to make sure that Storm can't get away alive. Who cares about the gun? It's the last round next coming up, so you don't need the money. He should be able to get away anyway. Yeah, he will. And he's going to be looking for an AWP over there as well, so he's going to find one. So that's a little bit of a bolster there for their uh, defensive capabilities. He's going to drop that to Hazed. Then drops an M4. That AWP passed up the JDM. And we are going to see a full rifle buy again. Double up set up for the CLG side. So it's going to be 12-2. to 2. Elevate needs this round. And they're going to be playing it... Well, nope, it's paused. I thought they were going to be playing it 4v5. <laughs> I'm glad that there was a pause that came out. Who was yep. it that dropped? Desi dropped. Desi. Yeah, but CLG just putting on a show right now. And this is uh, this is good stuff from them. Their rotations have been uh, much stronger than I've seen from them in the past. They've been very, very swift. And part of it is, you know, they're just they're just beating up on them so bad. They have been pretty much this whole match. They have all the confidence in the world. So, you know, they're not doubting themselves. They're not getting themselves into bad situations. They just look very crisp at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And right back in, it is going to be Desi. He's sitting on 6-13 and 13 right now, Tech 9 in hand, so we'll see this match get back underway. And like I said, it is going to be a 12-2 to 2 scoreline. Very, very difficult situation for Elevate to be in. This is a must-win round for them, and they have to pick up the pistol round in the second half. But again, Tarek sitting at 19-4, and 14-7 and for JDM, 13-5 and 5 for FNS, 13-8 and 8 for Hayes, 7-3 and 3 for Cutler. I mean, Cutler, he hasn't had any action over the A-bomb site. His teammates have been doing such a great job sweeping him under the rug, and FNS is going to get aggressive in the first opening of this round and push underpass. Takes down Desi. Little exchange of damage there in mid, and Roka going to come around the corner, and underpass is going to be able to find one. JDM goes right back into XP3, so the trades are all across the board. And Tarek off Cat's going to find Rush. Yeah, I mean, that, there's that double op setup, and when you don't have the utility to use smokes on the window and on catwalk, I mean, those two ops are just going to rain terror on you, and that's exactly what's happening. Storm's first to lurk up the A ramp through the smoke. He doesn't even win the battle with Cutler. Cutler sprays him down, and there's JDM dropping Roka. So the most dominant first half we've seen all night, 13-2 to in the favor of CLG. They're going to switch sides, but this, is, uh, this would be a massive comeback if Elevate was able to do it. Well, it all starts with them winning the pistol round, and my game crashed here, so... Go ahead and get back into this one in just a second for you guys. Yeah, this is just, it just looks like Elevate, this map, I mean, they're just not prepared for it. And even CLG, who I don't think, you know, is any kind of masters on it, they're just, they're still just destroying them. So it's it's kind of, it's actually disappointing to see uh, Elevate in this shape. So it's a little bit unfortunate. Alrighty, hopping right back in for you guys. Just hang tight for one second. And we're going to get right back into this one for the second half pistol round, guys. It actually is live. Yes, it is. is. I'm right back in it. Very, very spread out. Yeah, look at Desi. He's pushed up in the middle. He's not going to win that battle. He's going to get traded off by Hayes, who takes him out. Now XP3 in the window is going to get Cutler. So down to a four on four, but these Glocks doing some work. XP3 getting gooshed up a little bit down to 60 HP. Rush oh, has got to do wow. something, but Storm and him get taken out pretty much synchronized and the b bomb site is open now so it's all going to be down to a two on four retake and even xp3 gets goosh as he runs by the window that's jdm and he's going to stay aggressive he's so very close to this window waiting for roka to jump out waiting for him to pounce roka does take his head off though and that shot so from, much work. that shot from jdm onto storm was ridiculous and still biding their time they've got a couple around the corner cutler's going to be able to decapitate xp3 fns goes into roka and that's going to be the pistol round to clg and this is as good as done yeah, it pretty much is. Uh, this is going to have to be some stellar work. Elevate, they're going to have to buy this round. Can't let them get to 15 on the second round. That's just insanity. So XP3 does pick up the scout. Well, let's see what they've got for him right here because only sitting on three kills is XP3, and he's going to have to do something with his scout, and he's going to have to do it right here. And he is really late getting out through the window. Double nade into window room. Followed by a smoke. <clears throat> Not much he can do from that position, and it's going to be a quick push up towards near connector. So he's going to resign his position over towards this area, and JDM's going to be right around the corner. He's going to take the shot. He actually does the damage. But Rush is already down. Roka is down. Rush surviving with only 6 HP. 
<laughs> Look at even Tarek just lurking out halls, just executing Desi from behind. Nothing is going right for Elevate right now. Or this whole match, really. I mean, it's just been it's been easy pickings for CLG. They're feeling great at the moment, flying high, being very, very aggressive. 15 to 2. One last chance here for, for Elevate. Yeah, and it's really going to be like Rush with a, maybe a FAMAS. The rest are going to be on pistol armor. Got another pause here. So, did you get to watch any Gfinity this weekend? Um, I did, but I didn't. I didn't watch nearly as much as I should have. I watched the Virtus, the first match between Virtus Pro and Fnatic, and that was an ass whooping laid down by VP. But Fnatic in the grand finals just completely destroyed him. Olaf Meister is probably the best player in the world right now. Yeah, he, well, the funny thing is with uh, Fnatic, they they have like you know between JW, Flusha, Krims, and Olaf, they've all probably been the number one player in the world at some point in the last six months. It's pretty crazy to think about. Yeah, and Pronax is the best IGL in the world right now. Pretty crazy, but nevertheless, we are live again. This is potentially the last round of the matchup. Five sevens across the board. A Desert Eagle in the hands of Desi, a Scout for XP three and a Famas. Like I called for rush, small armor, not a lot of utility. And they're just going to creep on up towards the A bomb site. There's a nice shot from XP3. He's going to find the early damage. Now coming around the corner, going to find one, finds a second one. Roka trying to keep his team alive right now. And Desi's going to get flanked out here from Connector if he's not careful. And FNS is going to be able to make good on that kill. Down to a 3v3, three, pardon me. Yeah, but FNS has got to keep going. He's got to make more plays. JDM's at 6. You can't count on him to do it. Hayes is at 30 as well, so that's going to be very tough. But FNS is going to smoke. Smoke off the jungle. He's going to peer back towards Connector, where Storm actually just dropped. FNS is spraying down. He can't find the kill quite yet. He does eventually get it. Got to reload, but Rush takes out Hayes inside the bomb site. It's a 2-on-2, two -two, and the HPs for CLG are so incredibly low. Yeah, but they're smoked off from CT spawn, and FNS has got a beat on Rush. And he's going to be able to find that kill now. It's all down to XP3. He's just got to hit two shots. This might be CLG going back towards B, but he does hit one. That's FNS down. JDM just kind of ran around, and uh, he hasn't really committed quite yet. And this might give XP3 time if he makes the decision, if he makes the gamble to get over towards B, but he's not. He's just going to be very passive in CD spawn. And he's going to have to retake. He does have the health advantage, but he's going to have... I mean, JDM has much time in the world he wants to find a post plant position, and no kit on the Elevate, so he's got to hurry this up. Let's see how JDM decides to play this. He's going to go over towards the catwalk. And he's definitely put himself into a position to win this. He's going to hear XP3 coming around the corner. XP3 going to peek that. Does get the headshot. Nice job from XP3, and they stave off elimination for one more round. <laughs> I'm surprised that he was trying to play Ringer on the Rosie while just instead of just peeking it, but... A good shot from XP3 there. Uh, I mean, that, that was all on the back of Roka's early kills. But all this really does is uh, this just kind of staves off the end of the match just a little bit longer. I mean, to ask them to get to win 12 in a row to force overtime without a single mistake is, is kind of bonkers, especially the way that CLG's been playing. Yeah, if this was a map like Nuke, I could say it's possible. But Mirage? Mm. Not sure about that one. But it is a little bit more of a comfortable buy here for the CT side. No scout for XP3 this time. He's going to go for the M4. But it is going to be an A setup execution here from the terrorist side. Roka playing aggressive here on A ramp. Let's see what he can do. Quite a few players around that corner. Tarek is going to be looking for one. Peeking out. Oh, he's going to find one. Can he get a second one? Yeah, Roka utilizing that smoke really, really well. He's going to find two wow. opening picks. Nice job from Roka. Definitely yeah, use of that one-way smoke. Nice job from him. Yeah, well, very well done from Roka. So, CLG doesn't even know what hits him there. They get cleared out. And now, because they because they just walked straight over into that A execute, they have no map control, so they really don't have anywhere to fall back to. I mean, you can see Tarek's doing it, but he's pretty much ignoring clearing anything at the moment. So he's going to try and find something in mid for his team, and these remaining two players are going to wait see if Tarek can force any kind of a rotation before hitting up the A ramp. God, chat is just driving me nuts. Cutler, nice shot on Desi. He's going to be able to find that one. Takes him down. And now we're going to be back to a three versus four. And Rush on Catwalk, he's got a lot to do. He's got Tarek down there right underneath. And XP3 right around the corner as well. If Tarek peeks up, oh, nope. XP3 does get out of line of sight just in time. And nice shot from Rush. And this is the opening that Elevate needs. 
Last two players trying to make their way up from the A ramp, and this is going to be on XP3. That M4 is doing a little bit of work, and Cutler's going to be able to find that kill. Rush bails his teammate out, and Roka biding his time picks up the triple. And that's going to be the round right there. And Desi having some uh, connectivity issues, it seems like, so we should see another pause coming in here. And there it is. Yeah, nice. I mean, once again, Roka gets the opening two kills just like he did on that save round with the with the five seven. Without those two kills, Elevate doesn't win those two rounds. So four to fifteen, still such a long way to go. Desi does rejoin the server here, so we're gonna get this unpaused and underway. Should be an eco round from from CLG. I mean, there's no reason to keep force buying or anything like that. They have so many so many rounds to work with. It's an incredible disparity between the scoreline at the moment, fifteen to four. So they'll save and they'll get another full gear buy in the next round. All right. Well, does he back in the server? He does have a uh, does have a rifle to work with, or he's sitting on thirty two hundred. They do have enough money to drop him. Rush should be able to drop him a rifle and uh, get him right back into this situation. But fifteen to four. What a difficult situation for Elevate to be in. But if they can continue to execute these rounds cleanly, they could make a go at it. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll go with that one. Hey, man, have faith. You, we <laughs> no. both picked him to win. I know, but this is an elevate that, uh, just did not show up to play tonight. CLG's been spanking him up and down throughout that first half and asked him to win 11 straight. That's just a bit too much. Well, that's one of those things, you know, after that heartbreaking 2-0 to Affinity last night on Sevo, kind of CLG's, you know, we gotta, we gotta rethink our strategy. We gotta revamp what we're doing. And they've been doing it well so far in this matchup. There's no bones about it. So we'll see if they can continue to capitalize. Roka's top fragging for his team, 14 and 17, and then Rush at 10 and 18. But the rest of them, five kills, five kills, and six kills. Yeah, I mean, just just no kills. I mean, this is a team too that in the past we normally see they don't they don't lack for finding kills whatsoever between you know Roka, Rush, Desi, uh, even XP3 at times. You know, this is a team that is very very good at getting frags. Uh, and tonight they're just not doing it, and you know for and that's kind of the struggle you saw on their terror side. They're a team that's based off getting frags on their T side. You know they're not going to just go into these five on five executes and win them all the time. They just want those kills and they want to go from there. When they don't get them, you can see the kind of half they have. It's going to be a quick push in towards B, and Rush is going to pick up a quick double. Storm is there for a double himself, and last man standing going to be hazed over here by the van. We're going to spot him out. He's trying to do a little bit of damage, but XP3 takes him down a five-man stand. Good job there from Elevate, and they are back on five rounds. Still ten-round difference from the top to the bottom, and it's going to be a buy round. So things are going to get a little more difficult from this point out. Now, here's what's scary. Here's the one way that Elevate could somehow make a miraculous comeback. You want me to be positive? I'll give you one positive scenario. If, if CLG continues their trend, sometimes on this map they get stuck and do all five members going towards A or all five members going towards B and just not getting map control, not putting pressure anywhere, and just setting up for executes. If they do that, Elevate could make a little bit of a case for a comeback. There's Desi pushing up mid. He gets traded off immediately by Hayes. Hayes so low, just getting spammed. He's down to 2 HP, so a nice advantage found here by Elevate. Yeah, and he almost stepped back into that Molotov, which would have cost him his life as well. So, XP3 having to having to go at him in mid with that FAMAS, or pardon me, that M4A4, and did a pretty solid amount of damage to him as well. So, Hayes down to two, Cutler at 56, xp is at, at, at 37. So, we'll see whether or not they can capitalize on this man advantage. Or not man advantage, but health pool advantage. That's the words I was looking for. Nice, you found it. But look at how spread out this defense is from Elevate. It's a four on four. They have one player in B. They have Rush on Catwalk. But XP3 is kind of a no man's land at the moment. Roka's all alone under balcony. So XP3's got to get over there quickly. And here they are. They, they kind of shift the information. The B player goes to Cat. Cat player goes to Window Room. And they're, and they're leaning over towards the same bomb site now. So a great call by Elevate on this defense. A great read.